we started the day with a deep dive into updates coming for Microsoft 365. Now, it's time to dive straight into the ultimate Microsoft 365 demo showcase. I have been waiting for this part, it's great. Earlier, the team over at M365 were kind enough to take me through some key features. Let's take a look. Hello, and thank you for joining this session during Ignite. My name is Jason, and I'm going to give you a whirlwind tour of Microsoft 365. Whether you're new to Microsoft 365 or an experienced user, I guarantee you're going to learn something new. The key themes I'm going to cover, teamwork and collaboration, productivity, and daily delighters that make life just a little bit easier. I'm going to start with teamwork and collaboration, so fasten your seatbelt. We are going to cover a lot of ground in the next 15 minutes as we get started with Microsoft Teams. Let's begin with the meetings experience. This is the meetings pre-join screen, where you can turn on your camera, turn off your microphone if you don't want to interrupt an ongoing meeting, and you can blur your background or change your background. And if you want, you can even add your own custom background image to add a little bit of character to your meeting. Now you're ready to join the meeting. Teams is great for video meetings, and we recently added the large gallery view supporting up to 49 people, letting you see and engage with more people at the same time. One of my favorite meetings innovations is called Together Mode, a completely transformative meeting experience where everyone is combined in a virtual auditorium free of boxes, grid lines, and distracting background, making meetings more interactive and immersive. And it's great for meetings up to 49 people. Teams also delivers an inclusive meetings experience by visually highlighting people in purple when talking or trying to get a word in. And it also offers a hand raise feature to notify others that you'd like to speak. Another really helpful feature is the new dynamic view. This optimizes the screen real estate for what's most important. And it gives you greater control by letting you pin attendees next to the content so you can see the presenter, the reactions of a decision maker, or even an interpreter side by side with the content. Teams also has built in background noise elimination. So for example, if I'm talking and someone starts vacuuming in the background, it can be really distracting and annoying. But when I enable background noise suppression in Teams, you'll find that the distraction has been removed and I can be heard crystal clear. You can also turn on live captions in Teams, which helps people with hearing difficulties or simply to follow along when you're in a noisy environment. It also shows you who's talking, which is great when you can't see the presenter or don't know everyone on the call. Similarly, you can turn on the AI-powered recording and transcription feature, which I use frequently to reduce the need for note-taking. It lets all attendees know they are being transcribed and recorded, and then it transcribes who said what, which is perfect for important meetings, making it easy to recall key decisions as well as commitments made by others. Here's a short and sweet one. Teams now support speech bubbles, helping you stay connected to discussions when you don't have the chat window open. For conference rooms with a dedicated content camera, Teams uses AI to identify the whiteboard area and then intelligently extracts the ink and overlays it on top of the person so remote attendees can see what's written on the whiteboard even when they block the view. After a meeting that you've recorded, you'll find the recorded meeting transcription posted in the chat for all attendees to access later. In the meeting transcript, you'll be able to see everything that was said, by whom, decisions that were made, and ultimately be able to hold your colleagues accountable to commitments they've made. Teams now lets you add tasks to the side rail, so you can see and manage all your tasks directly from within Teams. This helps you stay on top of important tasks, planned tasks, and tasks that others have assigned to you. Next up is support for breakout rooms, which is perfect for smaller group activities. The group moderator can define how many rooms the group needs to be broken into, and also whether you want to assign people randomly or manually. Once you've defined the number of groups, you can have the option to rename them. Sometimes you need the flexibility to manually assign participants to a group, and you can see here how easy that is to do. When ready, the moderator can open all the rooms at the same time, which automatically forces all the participants to join their respective group. Attendees then experience a regular meeting which includes being able to use a shared digital whiteboard for brainstorming. And as you would expect, the moderator can keep the groups alert with announcements via chat bubbles. Working with colleagues on shared documents is one of the most powerful collaborative experiences in Teams. All your files are stored securely in SharePoint. Here I can open a document in Word Online, on my desktop, or directly in Teams. Once in the document, you will see when other colleagues are editing the document in real time, which makes joint reporting and reviewing a magical experience. You can also send a link directly to people when you need input from them, which automatically grants them permissions to access the file. 
You can include a brief message with a call to action so your colleague knows exactly where to go and what you need from them. Now that was just a quick tour of the latest Teams innovations to help teamwork and collaboration. Up next is how Microsoft 365 helps you and your organization be more productive. What better place to begin than with the latest innovations in our core office products? Let's start with making your presentations more engaging. Everyone can relate to boring black and white slides. Let me show you how PowerPoint Designer can transform plain words into professional looking slides. It uses AI to recognize that this is a finance topic and then it recommends an appropriate background for it. You'll notice that Designer also supports animated backgrounds for a really polished look. And for those plain lists, Designer saves you time by effortlessly creating an elegant layout along with appropriate icons. PowerPoint also helps you be a better presenter. Click Rehearse with Coach and activate your microphone and start rehearsing. Rehearsal Coach uses AI to analyze your talk track, offering you real-time feedback to build your confidence and help you improve. It also provides a helpful coaching summary at the end for you to review. To create a personal and engaging experience for everyone in the audience, PowerPoint comes with a new feature called Present Live. This provides a QR code for online viewers to scan with their phone, making their phone a companion device to use alongside the online presentation. It lets you pick from over 60 languages for real-time translations, making your presentation more accessible to international audiences. For a more interactive experience, online viewers can also send live reactions, providing real-time feedback to the presenter and for everyone else to see. And finally, Teams meetings will support presenter view in Teams so that your audience can see the content in full while you can see the speaker notes. Let's switch to Microsoft Word. Word now comes with intelligent word prediction, helping autocomplete words based on the context of your sentence, helping you write with greater efficiency. We've also added support for transcription, giving you the choice of uploading a file to transcribe or create a new recording. Here I'm uploading a focus group interview and it quickly transcribes the file and identifies the unique voices, which you can conveniently label, which it applies throughout the transcription. It also gives you the ability to quickly insert quotes directly in your document. The new editor feature is designed to help you write at your best, helping you address spelling and grammar, as well as other writing refinements. Recommendations are provided according to three styles of writing, formal, professional, and casual. And finally, We've introduced Word Designer to help automatically improve your document. In this example, it sees that I've used inconsistent formatting on my titles, and it fixes the font and the font sizes for me. Now on to Microsoft Excel. Excel has a rich feature called Data Types. In this example, I have a list of Fortune 500 companies, and when I use the stocks data types, it links them to online information. I can use the feature to add columns that automatically pull in online data, such as the number of employees they have, company financial information, or the industry. Excel Ideas can help you save time analyzing your data, simply by asking questions using natural language. For example, which industries have over 1.5 million employees? And here we see the answer with the four industries in a helpful chart. And for folks intimidated by pivot tables, Excel automatically creates these for you, enabling everyone to take advantage of this powerful capability. Now, probably one of my favorite features this year, if you've ever tried to filter or sort a shared Excel sheet, everyone's filters would always cause chaos with one another. Sheet Views lets you apply filters to just your view. Life just got a whole lot better, and this personal view is highlighted by this icon at the bottom. With Microsoft Outlook Mobile, you can get time back in your day by using Play My Email when on the go. And we've made some helpful enhancements since last year. Here are a couple of examples. Right now, you've got three emails to hear about. Listen to emails from my manager. About 45 minutes ago, your manager Miriam sent a quick email about budget planning just to you. Schedule a meeting. Looks like you're both free at 12.30 p.m. tomorrow. Should I book this? Yes. I've scheduled this and sent the invite. You can also use natural language to find things quickly by clicking on the microphone icon. When is my next meeting with Megan? It uses the Microsoft Graph to know which Megan I'm referring to, and it will show the next meeting we have in common. Send an email to Megan. Can we do coffee after our Wednesday meeting? This was just a couple of examples of the time-saving features Play My Email can bring to you every day. Outlook on the web uses AI to recognize the intent to have a meeting 
and it presents an intelligent action for scheduling a meeting with one click to save you time. You can also see tight integration with Microsoft Teams by clicking this chat icon. This gives you the flexibility to interact via Teams chat without needing to leave Outlook. This is particularly helpful when you're on a guest PC and don't have Teams running. In Microsoft Edge, the new tab page quickly gives you access to all your important apps. It also gives easy access to recommended files that I've recently been collaborating on. Here's a file that Diego shared with me. Microsoft Search in Bing allows you to see results both inside your organization as well as outside. And even though I only searched for Diego's first name, the Microsoft Graph applies logic to know who I'm most likely looking for. Many companies still use legacy sites that only run in Internet Explorer, and Edge conveniently runs an Internet Explorer mode for compatibility with these sites. The Office app is great for productivity on the go. The homepage gives you direct access to recently used files and uses the Microsoft Graph to recommend files that you collaborate on with your colleagues. The Action button takes you to a list of mobile optimized scenarios. One example is Image to Table. This uses the camera to take a photo of a printed data table. Then it uses AI to identify the boundaries of the cells and intelligently interprets the data. The data can then be imported into an Excel sheet, saving you from doing these cells manually. The most common scenario, however, is sign a PDF. Choose the file you need to sign, tap anywhere where you need the signature, sign it, hit confirm, and then you're ready to send the file off. That was a lot to cover in just a few minutes. I want to end on a lighter chapter, what I like to call daily delighters. In other words, things that make me smile or make my day just a little bit easier. On Teams Mobile, I often need to reply to an earlier message. Check this out. If you swipe right on the message, it automatically includes the chat bubble in your message, so they know what you're replying to. Simply amazing. And if you work with other nationalities, Teams breaks down language barriers, letting you translate sentences at the touch of a button. Here's a power user feature. Simply put a forward slash in the command bar and see all the available shortcuts. As an example, type org, add a name, and you'll see where they sit in the org chart. Microsoft Whiteboard is a helpful tool for getting people on the same page, in particular when working remote. Here we're using one of the available templates. I can add a new note, ink on it directly, and even move them around. If you come across writing that's hard to read, simply highlight the words and use the magic wand and it tidies the handwriting up for you. Additionally, you can insert a screen grab or even a picture of a whiteboard and when you use the magic wand, it converts it to digital ink, allowing me to do things like move the vending machine to the corner and the coffee machine to the other side. In Microsoft Stream, you can activate the voice enhance feature to clean up audio in videos. Hey folks, uh, got your messages. Um, I'm looking into the, the unit failure. Uh, we will have a permanent fix rolling out shortly. If you've ever created a Microsoft form, you'll be amazed how easily you can use it in Microsoft Stream. From the share menu, copy the URL, and then switch over to your video in Stream before you publish it. From the interactivity menu, paste the URL, name the form, and choose the timestamp for when you want the form to show up. Then when people watch your video, the form will show up at that exact moment, a great way to get high response rates. In Outlook, I get a daily briefing email from Cortana with helpful insights and reminders. What I find particularly helpful is right at the bottom, where it presents open slots in my calendar with action buttons for setting aside focus time. I'm not kidding, I use this every day. Word now comes with an intelligent search capability where I can ask natural language questions. Here I am asking about the fee for a late payment, and it quickly finds the answer and highlights the source. In PowerPoint, when presenting to a foreign crowd, I like to be able to offer local subtitles as I present. From the subtitle settings, pick the language for your audience and start presenting. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. This is always a crowd pleaser. In summary, Microsoft 365 brings together world-class teamwork and collaboration tools to keep you and your workforce productive, while delivering delightful integrated experiences that can save you time throughout the day at the office, at home, or on the go. For more technical videos and demo content, visit the Tech Community Video Hub at the URL at the bottom of your screen.
Thank you for taking the time during Ignite to watch this virtual broadcast. Palo Alto Network 